hey my friend how's it going today we're going to talk about the back end what happens at clicky course you know what do I do in my coding and uh, we're going to get a little bit geeky here but I thought that it would be cool for you to see the kinds of stuff that I do you know they talk about documenting the journey that you should be con creating content that you know five ten years from now you're going to be like oh that's what it was like that's what was happening that's how things were so that's part of it is you know your life your family life your things that are going on but also what it is that you do to move forward right so what is it that I do which is basically building a, a platform and how does that platform work and well I mean obviously we're not going to be able to get into all that but we're going to show you a little bit of how it happens I'm actually working on a particular feature right now and I'm going to show you what I do to do that so hopefully that interests you and we're going to see you well uh, now so let's just get right to it but before uh, but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So, okay, let's uh, let's kind of explain a few things. First of all, Click eCourse is a platform that I'm building. It's on it's on its own servers, it's on its own uh, back end. I use Docker. It's uh, anyways, it's a it's a it's basically a website that people can go to that you can go to to set up an account to host your courses there's also a wordpress uh, um, feature on there uh, there's also a syndication engine that lets you create assets to be able to syndicate that's kind of what I use to syndicate my content every single day right I create these uh, videos and one of the things is that recently I've started doing these um, webinars on Tuesdays to talk about the engine to talk about omnipresence talk about being able to post everywhere and by the way if you're listening to the short uh to the to the audio you should be going to cis273.jsgagnon.com so cis273.jsgagnon.com to go check out the longer video and the blog post because you might want to you you're going to want to see this if you know obviously I'm going to kind of annotate or not narrate what I'm doing so the audio you'll actually kind of hear what I'm talking about but you might want to see what I'm talking about so so the feature that I'm going to be working on is uh is the ability to um to give a coupon for the sign up I've been so the platform lets uh course creators host a course on there and you can have coupons for your course right so say your course is 500 bucks and you want to give a coupon to somebody so that they can pay only 200 or you know 400 or or they get 30 percent off or things like that you can give them a coupon for a particular course you can even them a, you can even give them a coupon for zero dollars you can give them a coupon so that they don't have to pay and they get your course for free so you could and you could and you can have a maximum number of uses for the coupon so you can have a coupon that gives you know five five free coupons for the first five to use this coupon you get this for free or whatever you get this for 20 bucks or for 100 bucks or whatever it is you give them five coupons and that's the maximum number of coupons that they can that they that that well the maximum number of people that can use that coupon so that that way you can have urgency right so you're trying to sell a course well you can have them um know when they go to the site they can put the coupon in and it'll say you know there's there's already three people that used that coupon so now you only have two left you better hurry because otherwise you're not going to be able to use the coupon right so that's one of the things I do for courses right so on the site you can do that but uh for the sign up I've never done that because you know well I guess I never really had a reason to but now I'm thinking because what I'm doing in the webinar is offering a bonus um upgrade if you will to the platform so you pay a certain amount and then you get um you get the the upgrade right but I have to do that manually the person that to buy it have to has to trust it I'm actually going to go and upgrade them and all this right so now what I want to do is I want to have a coupon that automatically gives you the upgrade based on that so let's just go show you a little bit how I work so first of all 
uh first of all let me just get the, the platform uh, set up or the the screen so I can share the screen uh let's bring that one over here so we can see it um okay so uh let's go back here if I go to the plans okay so let's just share the screen here share the screen share the screen okay so basically the platform um it, the, well this is a this is a, a debug environment as you can see right here it says debug up here can you see that yeah see debug so it says debug because it's my debug platform I need uh, you know you couldn't go to it you could try to go to debug.clickycourse but it wouldn't work because it would redirect you to the main site because uh, there's protection in place and stuff but that's the site where I develop right so basically it's a clone of the site and it lets me make changes to the code without affecting the live site right so right now if I go here let's just say I log out I'm going to log out and now I get the this this year so what I'm what I need to do now is I need to go in the code and I need to make it so that if somebody let's say for example somebody uh, selects this I want that I guess it won't let me so let's just go like this I should probably fix that because I want to be able to I want to be able to do that without that so let's go fix that first so I have the code back in right here let's go to the let's move that over to this screen so you can kind of see some of it so that's that's it's php based code right so now what I got to go find is where that particular error is coming up from if I click on this it tells me please log in or register first so that's probably uh, uh, uh right over here so please log in or register first so that's where that's coming from so let's not do that uh, let's just uh, take that out of here just comment it out let's see what happens that should allow me to load that up where is that there it is so reload this page and now I can select it at least see what it what the result would be so if I click on this there we go so uh, you must register login before you can upgrade your account okay great so now it's showing me this <clears throat> now let's uh so I need to be able to show a I need to be able to allow a coupon right so how would I have coupons I need to create data where I can store the coupon so the first thing I got to do is I got to actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to log in because I need to be able to do this as myself or maybe I do I'm just trying to think so anyways let's log in as me for now <clears throat> okay and if I go back to the reload the page now I'm logged in so now I can see the edit the edit thing that's because I'm an admin nobody else can see this but I'm on this plan right so what I need to be able to do yeah so whenever I do this if I select a plan um now I now it shows me your downgrading plan you may do so but may lose some functionality uh, downgrade you're going to go down blah 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 all this stuff this debug thing obviously is not there on the main site but what I need to do is I need to be able to put in a coupon here so let's see where would I put oh, okay let's just do that first let's first add this coupon so this is going to be the PayPal so subscribe subscribe sub subscribe for okay that's where that is so this is where the code is for that uh and then basically what I want to do here is I want to uh that's where the button is okay so let's do here a coupon uh, input and then I want to yeah and then I want to put a button here uh on click so this is code right right now I'm writing the code to show the to show that that uh, the text on the screen right and also I'm adding a button that that's going to allow somebody to enable a coupon right so on click equals um let's just say location equals whoops location equals uh 
um, yes slash uh, what is it that we have we have what equals membership id equals okay what equals membership id equals <coughs> dollar uh, mm, 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 buying row buying id i think it is i'll have to look up the variable and coupon is equal to whoops this dot value right so that's return false okay so that's the code to activate the coupon so um apply coupon slash button and break okay so now this will be now the other thing I need I need to have a coupon equals oops coupon equals nothing and I have to say if if there's a um if there's a coupon coming in in the request right I gotta say that and then I have to say coupon equals whatever came into the request uh, coupon otherwise else if is set underscore session so this will be a member membership dollar oh I need this to be a coupon for this thing buying id dot underscore coupon that's the name of it here whoops I need this to be all right I messed that up this has to be like this there we go okay now if I have the session set then I'm going to say coupon equals whatever is in the session right and then I'm going to say that I want to save that in the session here's the coupon so that way it's saved okay so now we have this now let's see what that looks like if I reload this <coughs> oh I got an error that's that's one of the things that programmers we keep doing we keep making mistakes so let's just see where's my error so on syntax error line 7118 7118 I got an error right there what did I do oh I forgot the equal sign I forgot the equal sign right there that's it just like that and isn't that crazy just a little thing like that right okay sorry about the squeaking the, the table here squeaks okay so now I have a coupon right there um actually I don't I don't think I like it up there right I think it should be underneath the buttons let's move it to underneath the buttons all this code here I'm going to move it to under the buttons right over here and actually what I need is a so because I'm putting it under the buttons now I need to put the break right here that's a break that means go to the next line so let's reload this page now so now we have now we have the coupon on the underneath the buttons right right over here so let's say I apply a coupon it's going to be uh sub uh, let's say uh webby webby deal I mean obviously the coupon doesn't exist yet by the way but I can do this apply coupon and that didn't work it should not have done that why did it do that oh because it's slash plans oh okay <laughs> the page isn't right let's go back here this button is supposed to go to slash plans slash plans there you go that'll, that'll work better if I do that now the idea with the coupon is at first I need to apply it I need to save it so webby so webby deal right if I put a webby deal here I apply the coupon then that's going to give me the coupon save now right so now it's that that didn't work because it's supposed to a coupon equals why didn't that work uh, oh because it's the button oh that's not going to work so it's not this dot value it's 
it's the coupon so coupon there you go that'll work better like this let's reload this again let's put the webby deal in there webby let's just put webby like coupon okay so now we have webby up here and can we see that let's see are you able to see that part of the screen yeah now we have webby up there right and now it's showing up here again that means that it's keeping the coupon it's saving the coupon if I go back to say uh plans if I go back to this one instead there won't be a coupon but because I saved it in the session if I go back to here the coupon will still be here now I don't know if I want do I want to do that do I want to save the coupon in the session or do I want them to have to re-enter it I think they should I think they should have to re-enter it right yeah let's make them re-enter it because that way yeah I don't want I don't want the session I don't want the session let's get the session out of there we don't we just care about the coupon in the in the request if they they don't the only thing though oh yeah yeah okay well actually actually this will be in a different part um mm -mm. I gotta save the coupon yeah right there yeah so it gets saved so that when they come back and they go through the process and load up other pages and all this stuff I have to have the coupon so that I can tell what the price is right so that's the first thing now let's just do that over here I'm actually going to put it right here um okay so coupon let's set it to here equals no coupon and then if I have a now if I have a coupon here whoops then I set it from the membership right so now is there but where's the buying ID buying ID buying ID uh okay that is set up here okay good okay so that is set now the coupon now let's see now that's the other thing okay so uh now the next thing I need to do is I need to be able to you know manage coupons edit coupons that kind of stuff right so that means if I'm the admin where is that at where is the place where I can edit the config and all that so um, um, um. okay so get membership html there's a place where I have this uh this thing to edit the um so buying id so that be over here uh, you must upgrade that's not it either there it is if it's an admin edit and done right here right <coughs> so that part is right there in edit um should I have uh, let me see I'm just wondering if I should have it the same because in the courses right in the courses if I go to a course for example in the courses let's get a sip of my Christmas coffee here in the courses um if I go to say actually let's go to the TikTok course because I haven't I need to put a coupon on this oh this is the debug anyways okay this is the debug so I don't get the same page but if I go to the TikTok course there's a manage deals and coupons right on the course page right so on this page when I do that it loads up this uh, this this page and it shows me the coupons and there's an expiry there's no deal here if I create a new deal let's say I create a deal for 97 dollars expires say 12 31 and expire type is that's fine let's just do that oh start that's not what I wanted <laughs> I did not want that I don't think I can edit yet right can I no let's just delete it <coughs> I'm going to recreate it <coughs> okay so what I want is a 97 dollar price and the start is no, that doesn't matter it's right now it's the end that I want to set to the 1231 right now I submit this and there you go so now I have a coupon that's 50.7 percent off if I reload this page whoops close that I reload this page over here now I see the uh, I guess not because I'm the owner so it doesn't show me the coupon price but if I was to go to this page uh, uh, 
as a visitor it should show me there yep there you go see it shows me the price right so now I have um, a deal which is not a coupon right but I can put a coupon from say for example if I go back here I can actually put in a coupon like one of these coupons right here if I do this free right there's a free coupon right here 60 percent off over here I can go and open this and that'll show me the coupon price right the 60 percent off right then there's the other one here which is a free one if I go to that page so that's kind of what that's kind of what the coupons are for right so this one here is going to be uh, actually this coupon didn't work that's interesting I'm gonna have to oh the coupon is no longer available as all have been used yeah so that was a coupon that had a maximum use to it right count had one and there was one that used it so that means the coupon is no longer available the yeah so that's used up that was just a test I did in the past but anyways that's that's what the coupons are so the coupons on the on the membership should be the same or similar right I should be able to edit this and yeah let's do that like that let's do that like that I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add a uh, is admin if is admin let's go back up here and uh, the coupons let's do that right over here so that way I can actually edit them right here where's the coupons there's the coupon okay I actually want if is admin and then I want to have the whoops I want to have html dot dot I want to have a I want to be able to say button uh, on click equals load coupon well let's just say let's, let's call it edit coupons edit membership coupons <coughs> let me turn false <coughs> okay so now we're gonna have that and oh right I need to have it edit coupons I should say manage coupons right <coughs> so manage coupons manage deals and anyways just coupons edit membership coupons so this will be the method I'm calling inside of my JavaScript code let me see if I reload this what's it going to look like right over here so I need to be able to create the coupons right so there's a manage coupons right here if I click on that it won't do anything right now because it doesn't exist but um okay so that means if I go back here okay so now I have the method there now I have to create the code to do it so coupon I don't know if I could reuse the code I already have but okay so let's just create a new function here called this is what it's going to be and the first thing that has to do is got to go and get uh, it's got to go and get some of this edit coop membership so this is going to be a go is get membership coupons let's just call it that and that's it just like that okay fail to get membership coupons all right what else okay so what does that I keep forgetting the code I gotta just get this code out of here okay that's actually what I want right here all the way to here all right so that's the code to actually process the um to actually process the page here let's show you what that's like so that's the other part so there's a whole bunch of pieces right involved in all this so I'm just going to do this I'm going to say uh, pop-up message 
data.html I'm just going to do that like that so edit membership coupon so that's going to give me a page okay let's just save that and I'm going to reload and I'm going to show you what that does so I got to reload the page now when I click on it it's going to give me an error see unknown go option so now I got to go and edit the code so that it knows how to process that request that's so that's the next level in the back end right so, so the back end so if I look at the if I go the go.php is the one that deals with these methods right here right so in here I've got to um so let's just say coupon this is just the coupon stuff coupon 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 let's go to the these are all just methods okay get course prices over here delete course deal okay so let's just put it up here before this one we're going to say else if go is equal to that right we had that like that then I'm going to I'm going to first well so the membership coupons is basically the membership the, the it's for the site right so if, if the person that's trying to access this uh, so I got to do validation too I can't just spit out the information because a robot or some some SQL injection there's there's all these things you got to watch out for right you can't just you can't just put the code in and not worry about it you got to check if the person's logged in like for example uh, I'm going to say if not UID which means you're not logged in I'm going to say uh, that uh, message oops, is equal you must be logged in right so that's the first thing that I val validate then I say else if um super uh, is admin so is admin okay user is admin no that's the user admin of group that's all the group stuff um okay actually then okay so let's just get no okay actually um else if uid is not equal to the site info owner if you're not the owner if you're not the owner of the site that you're trying to edit the coupons for then you won't be able to do this because you know the the platform allows people to have their own membership site and you know you might decide that you're charging 10 bucks a month instead of 100 bucks a month or or a thousand bucks a month if you want for your membership but then you might want a coupons for your membership site and that's kind of what this is about uh, so let's just say this one here will say uh, you are not admin of the site there you go of the well whatever okay then we'll say then we'll then we're good then we have data message is equal to got membership coupons and then oops data success is true so then we're going to say data coupons is equal to coupons but before we do that we got to go and populate them right we got to say coupons equals uh it's an array it's an empty array and we're going to say result equals get a do query it's basically go in the database and go find the coupons that exist um select star from site coupons where site id is equal to dollar site info ID. okay so basically now I'm going to need a database table that has site coupons where there's a there's a site id and all that so uh well let's just finish this part up db fetch whoops db fetch fetch array dollar result and then we're going to say db free result dollar result okay and then in each part of the loop we're going to say new row equals array id is dollar row id 
because I can't just use the row because there might be information that I don't want in there so we're going to say new row what else do we want the name of the coupon obviously equals row name and the what else do we want we want the uh count we're going to want a count we're going to want a maximum number of people that can use this coupon right we're going to want a um end nts which is basically an end when the coupon ends start we're, let's do a start as well in case it's not a coupon that's ready yet or available yet and what else do we want do we want the uh, oh right we want a, a value we also want a percent and a value so amount amount and a percent so it's either one or the other it's not going to be both but you could have a coupon for 50 percent off or you could have a coupon for 20 dollars right uh, and then the other one is what else do I want is also the plan id because you know it has to be against a particular plan it's not necessarily a coupon against everything right so then I'm going to say dollar coupons is equal to new row oops new row okay so that's going to allow me to add coupons uh, to show the coupons that are in the database now the other thing I need is I need to, be able to save coupons and add them right so it's it's a lot right so we're already at 31 minutes I don't know if we I'm probably gonna um you know end this pretty soon because really it's just gonna be more of the same but basically right that's kind of what you do there's all these different pieces let's do the database so you can kind of get an idea of what's the next so now next thing is I want I need to create a table called site coupons so create table site coupons it's going to have an id unsigned auto increment and then I'm going to have to have a site id and I'm going to have to have what 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 else did I say I need the site id and I need a name account to start okay so name is going to be varcar let's say 50 well 50 is probably too much 20 is fine then we need a uh what else then we need a um we said account okay we need account so that's going to be integer I don't know three is probably fine it's got to be unsigned because there's no unsigned okay then we have to have a start and an end so the start start ts is an int 15 because it's uh it's a timestamp right unsigned the end of ts is an int 15 unsigned and let's just uh just a little second here and uh yeah so let's see so the nts and then what else did i have i had a amount and a percent oh I had the plan id too I might as well put the plan id right here so plan id plan id okay and then I had a amount so this will be a decimal I think it's decimal so 10 3 and then uh, we're going to have a percent is in three unsigned so then i have a key id a key site id a key plan id a key name and a key start ts and end now there's better ways to do database obviously so we're not really going to get into that but and then there you go so that's good I think that's good did I make a typo in there I guess not that's great so then I have to do this on the live database too I want to create the data the the, the table on the live server as well so this is the uh, this is on the live site right here got to do the same thing over here and there we go okay 
so now I've got the database created and the table created but there's nothing in it right there's no coupons in it because I haven't created one yet but then then but at least now when I go like this uh well actually this is going to give me an error okay so let's do oh right I got to do an html as well so the data html let's go over here I gotta say data html equals so I gotta put some html in here html is equal to this is equal to um coupons 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 edit for membership site so I'm just going to do that so you can kind of see it show up so now if I go back to here into here and I re I click on that again now it's going to return that right coupon edits for membership site right so that's that's the text that I put in and there's nothing nothing that came out if I look at the the results here under here the go membership coupons I can see that I got this response right I got this debug output I got the html right here right and I have the the coupons where's the coupons uh, site coupons or what what was it called oh well it's coupons it's a it's a it starts it's in some alphabetical order so it's coupons right and so that's kind of what that's kind of how that works and there you go so yeah so that's so anyways I'm I gotta keep going I gotta add the um the actual way the the, the the code to actually edit the coupon to add a coupon and to and then the using a coupon as well because that's that has to be implemented in the back end too so all that stuff so that's kind of how you know that's kind of how you end up with these uh these these kinds of things on uh on a site like this where you can have it's php based and this is what a, this is the kind of thing that I'm working on and yeah so I just thought that you'd like to see a little bit of how that works all right hopefully we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day until next time so the real question this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time